So if you know my story, uh, I've been married to my same woman twice. We got married young, divorced young, and 23 years later, we got back together, and it's a, a beautiful love story, but we have two anniversaries now. <laughs> she wants to celebrate both. <laughs> You know, men, did you know there's a gift chart for anniversaries? Did you know that, sir? There's a gift chart. Even if you don't think you know it, you know it, because they're the big ones. Silver anniversary is 25, 50 is golden, but they have something for every year. First year is paper. Right there, they got it wrong. First year should be golden. We still like each other. 50 should be paper. You just write a note, we made it. They have a gift for every year. Who came up with this gift chart? No straight man wrote that gift chart. <laughs> if it was a straight man, it was an old school Mormon. <laughs> Back when they had multiple wives, the, the wives are arguing, well, how come she got a better gift? Well, she's been here longer, Sarah. <laughs> I would try that one on the dry bar. <laughs> We've been back together five years. If we had never divorced, we'd been back, we'd been together 37 years. She wants to celebrate both. Five years is wool. 37 years is not just China, it's bone China. I can afford wool. I don't know about that bone China. <laughs> So I compromised. That's the key to any successful marriage, is compromised. I got her a wool sweater made in China. <laughs> ladies, we get it, you're smarter than us. Clap if you agree, men. The ladies, they have intuition that we don't have. Clap if you, you're proving my point, bro. <laughs> the three guys without a date, none of them clapped, all right. We're smarter. <laughs> I think all the men would agree, all we ask is let us be right every once in a while. Wouldn't you be happy, just win one a year. And don't let us be right when you know we're wrong. We're turning left, you know we should go right, and you're like, go ahead, Columbus. <laughs> I almost got shot for not listening to my wife. Not by her, she's Puerto Rican, so she would have cut me. But uh, <laughs> I was performing at a prison in California. I go do prison ministry, and uh, the number one rule is your attire, and above all, you cannot wear blue jeans. Inmates wear blue jeans. So I'm getting dressed early in the morning, and my wife says, why are you wearing blue jeans? I said, they're black. She said, they're blue. I said, they're black. She said, go ahead. <laughs> I show up at the prison, and the correctional officer looks me up and down and says, can I help you? I said, yeah, I'm here for the morning chapel. I'm the, I'm the comedian for today. She said, oh, not today. You're wearing blue jeans. And in that light, I could see my jeans were blue. The prison is five minutes from Costco. I've got 30 minutes to go to Costco, buy a pair of black pants, get back, process into the prison. The parking lot is about four blocks away. I've got 30 minutes, so I take off running. By the way, if you're leaving a prison wearing blue jeans, <laughs> do not run. And that's what I heard from the guard tower, do not run. I assumed he was talking to somebody on the other side of the fence. <laughs> so I kept running, and the next thing I heard was, if you continue to run, we will be forced to shoot. <laughs> now that'll stop anybody in their tracks. I looked up and said, me? He goes, yes, you, in the blue jeans. <laughs> you should listen to your wife. <laughs> I think every man, if you want a happy marriage, you should get a good Forrest Gump impression. It'll end every argument. You guys are going at it and just look at her and go, wow, I'm not a smart man, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> Fight's over. 